Good evening, everyone. My name is Sumeshwar. I welcome all of you on behalf of Art of Link Organization to your Vashishth evening session. Namaste, I am Sumeshwar. You all are the Link Sastha's side. I welcome you on behalf of Vashishth evening session to your Vashishth evening session. टुडे वी आर ऑन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी थर्ड सेशन आज हम लोग एक सौ तेईसवें सत्र में यहाँ पे पहुंच चुके हैं टुडे वी विल बी लुकिंग इट फ्रॉम सिलेबस परस्पेक्टिव यदि देखते हैं तो हम लोग निर्वाण प्रकरण के सातवें चैप्टर में यहाँ पे पहुंच चुके हैं अवर सेवेंथ चैप्टर उत्तरार्ध प्रकरण एंड इन दैट इज अब चैप्टर नंबर नाइनटी सिक्स एट दैप्टर नंबर नाइनटी सिक्स इन दैट इफ यू सी दैटोरी इज दिस ब्राह्मणा um there is this person called brahman his name is monkey and this story is about it and how does he gets into the atma bodha how does he acquire the self realization we'll look into it that how does vashishta muni gives that knowledge to him and how does he acquire the knowledge that story will come in the this 96th chapter so we'll look at that today so let's continue with our session by chanting om three times the way we do it every single day i welcome all our zoom participant all our youtube viewers and all our facebook viewers to today's session let's all close our eyes aankhe band kar le sit comfortably spine erect neck straight shoulders relax chehre pe ek halki si muskan a gentle smile on your face and a feeling of contentment तृप्ति संतोष वी स्टार्टेड अवर डे बाय लिसनिंग टू योग वाशिष्ट डूइंग साधना देन वी डिड व्हाट एवर वी वांटेड टू डू थ्रू आउट द डे नाउ दिस इज टाइम टू रिलैक्स लेट अस ब्रिंग बैक आवर अटेंशन टू आवर ब्रेथ Take a normal breath in and let go. Relax totally. Take one more deep breath and let go. let us chant om three times breathe in गुरु का आवाहन कर ले चिदानंद 
गुरु वंदना कर ले गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री श्री गुरव नम let us pray to the master whatever the words that come out of this mouth whatever the actions and the events happening around whatever the thoughts over on to this mind and the power of discrimination arise in our intellect whatever the impression that might be getting created on the memory if you are allowing them to happen and still there is an iota of that i i be let all these known and unknown levels of our existence be inspired by the master alone feel the presence of the master within and outside and if you have already experienced that mukti moksha freedom then let this remaining life be inspired by the master of you pray like this into the vicinity of the master slowly and gradually you may gently open your eyes dheere dheere apni pyari si aankh khol sakte ho Jai Gurudev. So let's continue with uh, today's session. Today we'll be looking at a very beautiful story of uh, Monkey Brahman. So here Vashishtha Muni continues to address Brahma. As we know, this Vajra Vashishtha is the dialogue between uh, Prabhu Ram Chandra Ji and Vashishtha Muni. So Vashishtha Muni continues to say to Brahma, Hey Rama, that um, it's really really important to preserve that vairagya, that dispassion. in our life which can take all the vishayas which can take you away from all the outgoing tendencies of your mind and also the vasanas no? so there are these cravings that because of which we get stuck into this so like that the one who has how there was one such person called monkey he was the monkey brahmana who you has gone on a pilgrimage now how uh, he was because of his agyana he wanted to get rid of this sansara from these things and get into the um, atma rupa that self realization state so like that also you also do it and you also become calm and quiet and establish into self realization so he says that okay let me tell you that how this has happened how that particular brahmana has really um done this uh, tick self control over the five senses and how he has done all the different different types of things that is something which i will share with you now you will listen to that hmm? so he says that um once upon a time now he tells a story once upon a time your great gyan father had actually called me for doing some rituals for there and then i started from that saptamarshi mandir is where he stays uh, there he starts from there and then while going through this while going towards the ayodhya we know ram is sitting in the ayodhya so while going towards this ayodhya nagri he happens to come across there is a very dense forest so he goes into that a uh, forest over there and he says that all the uh, trees there are just like become like a desert kind of situation and then all the uh, they, there was this um, soil that was because of the sunlight it has become very dry and uh, if someone was walking on that it used to burn their um, foot so it was very very hot kind of environment is that has been said here and on that thing uh, there was a small little village over there and um, in that i saw there uh, under one particular tree like there was this one particular um, uh, 
person who was on the pilgrimage and he was sitting over that uh, i looked at him and then he says like um, the way uh, the company of the bad people really makes you very very dull and makes you um, suffer uh, like that these um, sun rays are really really burning me uh, so like this he expresses no he was very tired and then he was talking to himself he was expressing himself like this is what is happening um, because of the situation he were in so he said like this sun rays are really burning my entire body i'm feeling very very hot here like that even look at this vanarai this forest also it has also it is very very hot everywhere there are no green trees over here because of that and let me i'm just thinking to go there is this nearby there is a village and let me go and take a rest over there uh, like that he um, was thinking and when he was getting that say uh, i was going over there and then he, um, he happened to see me and he said that um, hey friend you are welcome and this like this he said that um, uh, he, he continues to explain him that see uh, what is this is after why it is happening this is what i am thinking so here the vashishtamani uh says that um, um that mitra he, he says that friend why do you really want to go there in that particular small little village look at the people over there how they are um so uh, initially they might uh, welcome you very good this and that but in no matter of time look at them they will start quarreling with each other and they will get into that very negative environment and this is what exactly what happened and in that in such a village you would like to really go and you want to take go ahead and take a rest over there will you really get a uh, that peace of mind in the company of such people over there this is uh, because he is the brahmagani he knows what is the impact of the people the surrounding on your mind the knowledge sheet that we read today he also was aware so why he said that why do you really want to go that if you go and drink the salty water from the ocean will that really remove your thirst it will not right so going and there and being in a company of such people again will not make you calm it will not give you any joy over there so like that these people just continue to get entangled into multiple such activities because of that that vyapak buddhi that uh, uh, knowledge is not yet dawn in them because of that they are behaving like this so instead of that you do, really do not go over there it will not give you any pleasure it will just uh, pull you down and you will feel more miserable so like that uh, he says that uh, so when um, this has been told by vashishta muni to him definitely understood yeah this person is somebody you know he has is that aura and that vashishta aura like that he was saying so he said uh, when um, uh, vashishta muni tells to rama like this uh, i told him um, that thing just like if somebody is in a completely hot environment and they get a glass of cold water how do they feel like that the presence of the vashishta muni made him feel that that shantata that coolness no he said he then he started asking that hey bhagwan um, who are you uh, that and the person like me look at me how miserable i am just because of your presence over here i am feeling so nice i am just really feel uh, that definitely you must be some brahma gyani some atma gyani just because of are you a mahatma he ask him that are you a mahatma so like this uh, thing if i see that i see so many people who are passing by but look at them how they are dull how their face is looking very dull but look at you you are so shining you are so smiling no what is it that you but i do not, do not see that you are being dull just like all other people have you drank an amrut have you drank a nectar what is it that to, how come you have become this sarva satta how come you have become this samrata are you you are looking like a samrata no you are looking like that you are you are kanti you are you look at your skin it is like glowing that you are shining so many such things uh, it doesn't appear that this sansara this uh, world uh, and its uh, different different things such as sukha and dukha have made any impact on you 
it as if you are not in this deha vana you are you are just like that you you seems to be that purusha who has really achieved that self realization no but like this in and even though you are appearing to doing this um, actions over here yet i feel that you are completely away from you are completely detached from all this uh, vyavaharas from all these activities that happens to be you are doing no you doesn't seems to be feeling any connection with them but yet you are doing all these things so like this can you please really help me look at me you know, the you know, miserable jeeva like me um will you be able to really uh, and then um, despite of other person like me you came here and you are talking to me that itself shows that you are something definitely no he then he continues to say hey mune that this i i come from the chandelier hmm? there, there was this kula no so there are different kulas so i come from this chandelier uh, kula and they, i am i am a brahmin here and then i have been Uh, so I heard, I read somewhere uh, that if you go to the Tirthatana, no, uh, if you go to the pilgrimage, it will help me. Uh, so like that only, I have been going to all these different different places. I have seen so many Tirthas, I have seen so many places uh, like this. But despite of that, my mind is not really feeling calmness. I am not experiencing that peace of mind. Mm? So even if all these uh, different different things that happens to come from this sansara that little bit of objects that comes into this my mind can continuously keeps on going towards that oh to, to, today i want that today these things today i want to eat that today i want to purchase that it is continuously got stuck up into this but hey mahabaga kindly bless me that tell me who you are no huh? why are you here and uh, just by your presence if these things are happening with me can you please tell me who you are and then He says like this. He asks. So, but till this point of time, I have not yet got that Viveka. I have not got it in touch with any Sadguru because of his guidance. I will be able to make myself free from all these sufferings. So then, here Vishishtu Muni said, Rama, after listening to this um, sayings from the monkey Brahmana, I told him that a Sajjana. No, he says a gentleman. that i am vashishta muni introduce himself that i am vashishta muni this is where i stay now this is where uh, today i have to go to this in uh, there is a person called aja in the surya vansha in the great grandfather of rama uh, that aja is there there some things uh, things i have to do some satkarya i have to do some good deeds i have to do because that i was uh, going through this and this is where i saw the sudaivi purusha like you now as i have come in contact with you now you don't repent don't regret huh? uh, don't uh, complain about all such things let it be but i definitely feel that look at your words the way you expressed yourself i feel that there is that dispassion that virakti that has really arisen in you that seeking has already started in you so definitely i feel that you deserve this knowledge and that is the thing that is what i see in you because of the kind of words that you use i really see that intellect here that, that viveka is there so otherwise the normal beings do really do not uh, seems to be speaking like um, the way you spoke just now see look at how he appreciate how he first uplift the person doesn't make him feel down you know oh you have done this you have done this bad karma you have done this like this no he makes that person very feel very uplifted hmm? he appreciate that see like this so he says that just like a diamond unless until you sharpen that diamond polish that diamond it doesn't get value like that only just little bit of sharpening here and there just little bit of those karma uh, krodha loga madha mutsara all these vikaras all these visharas we have to just do some chopping some polishing here and there remove that from the system and what will remain is that atma chaitanya that diamond will automatically glow over there hmm? so like this that viveka is what is very very important and then he say that hey sadhu what is it that you would like to know what is it that in do you really like to feel like that uh, dropping this sansara uh, what is it that you feel what is it that you are asking looking for the purusha do seek that knowledge from there so like that he uh, continues to explain um, to the um, 
that monkey brahmana so he said that the one who is viveka sampanna one that power of discrimination arise we really um, got to know that what is it we are supposed to do what is it that we are not supposed to do all such things that was that is the arise and in that is possible when a disciple comes into the contact of the guru and the guru give the upadesha the guru give the advice to that and that way uh, the one who reaches to the ananda swarupa the paramapad no that if they becomes capable to go ahead and experience that and such people then they become free from the dukkha saro so that is that there is no there is no doubt about it such a knowledge such is knowledge that i am going to share with you you please listen so like this he says rama like that uh, i spoke to him and an after listening to me he he bow down to me and he this the sashtanga namaskar i said bhagwan i have been really going through all the 10 directions here and there i have been trying like this but i have never come across the person like you i have never come across the person who has such a depth of knowledge such a sadhu i have heard about it that just being in the sadhu sankati really one can get into the self realization like that um, i saw you um, i got a darshana of you i saw you i got your presence and because of that this manushya deha sarthati this this there is some purpose was there for the life i feel that purpose is now going to get fulfilled because of your presence here in my life no so like that uh, is that i now i really feel that i i really come from the satvik kula the shuddha charni the the my parents must have done some very good deeds because of that i got uh, i took a birth in their um um uh, in their place and like that uh, i really want to go ahead because of your blessings i i came to this level now kindly now i am very feeling very blissful now you kindly uh, shower that blessings and kindly share that knowledge what is it there then he continues to explain uh, see he is also he is also monkey brahman also because of the thing that he has been doing because of he has to come to some stage so he is also addressing uh, and he explains his own uh, sthiti over there he says that bhagwan if you look at this all this the places which are there around i really do not see any um charm in that even if i go and do it i do get a little bit of temporary pleasure out of it and then after that i experience a whole lot of sorrow so that sukha which is temporary um i experience that and after that again i get into the dukkha and these things are happening continuously and it will put me into more bigger sorrow and that is continuously like that i feel that there is small little of happiness that i got but that is not the situation like that this small lesha matra small sukha also will there and it will bring the very big dukkha no because of that only that fear that anxiety because of that ashanti that not having the peace of mind not able to sleep all this is coming to uh, my face and i really really uh, not able to even get a small deal. i have to happiness out of it by doing this look at my body it is all looks very tired no it's all it has it has go, got old no so like because of that i am really feeling all these things very clash car means this is very really become very difficult for me to do all these things now because of the tatva gnana all this sadhana etc i have not done that throughout my life i feel that i have really really wasted my life like this and this is the time it has come but at least right now i am in front of you and i really want to go ahead and again and again i have been doing all these things and now i really feel like i need to get out of this i really want to give get the that aswada that taste of that viveka that power of discrimination that pragya when it dawns and then how does one it really really helps everybody that atma bhavana is something um, i am not able to experience i want to really experience that the he bhagwan because of this karma yoga if you said look at from the karma yoga perspective also uh, i thought of that let me go, go and get realization but that is also did not uh, work out for me and because of the different uh, nitya karma that i used to do at that point of time also because of some that uh, the bad deeds which happened in the past 
because of the impressions of that whenever i started my buddhi has become brushed up no it has become distorted and whenever i started doing things things it, it was always used to attract towards me towards the five senses and its bhogas and its attractions and then again i used to drop my good karmas and again get entangled into that this is what is happening with me and because of that i am not really able to experience that atma bhavana so like that look at my chitta it is chitta also has become very dry it has been like very shin no uh, like that it is and then still that thing that is not going still not i'm feeling that charm that enthusiasm that interest in doing anything that aham bhav roop that thing is also still there i that kartutva bhav is still there that i am the doer i have done this i have done that that bhava is still there no yet because and then i have gone through all the uh, things uh, which are told in shastras told by the satpura shankarkar all these things have then but still it did not have had any impact on my and i have really am really stuck into this so right now hey mahapurusha hey magani uh, vashishta muni kindly tell me that what is that satpura sangati once i because i have heard that once the person gets into the person uh, vicinity of the person like you they really really that aviveka will be dropping and then that other things will will also be um, it will go up like that this asubhashita that that shloka i have heard so right now i feel that that time has come and i got really in touch with you now you kindly guide me so that, that is the way uh, vashishta muni said drama after listening to that that uh, the right um, advice i have given to monkey brahmana because i felt now he is ready he is ready to uh, listen to this knowledge so i gave him that so he says that he sujana whatever you are experiencing right now despite of having that dispassion despite of having all this thing why is it that you are not really experience in that so he says that this is because of the avidya and then there are four roots of this avidya because of this ignorance one does not realize the self realization which are those the first one he says that there are four of them so he says that like that hey sujana like that vishaya vasana really if you really want to get rid of that vishayas the outgoing tendencies of your mind and experiencing the pleasure out of that if you really want to get up rid of that there are two type two types of ways that you need to do the first thing is that in this vishayas in this outgoing tendencies you have to really see what are the disadvantage of that doshas in them look at that this is one thing and then make the that brahma bhavana that you are that atman you are that the self realization these are the two ways that you really need to adopt in your life and i'll tell you how to do that now so he says that the first thing that is the avidya which makes you feel bond bonded no that and then because it happens because of this series of these things which keeps coming in one after another hmm? in a cycle so which are those so he says that there are four one is samvedana second one is bhavana third one is vasana and the fourth one is kalana so what is this samvedana samvedana he explains that the one which in this that feeling that it creates inside you that one wants to go and experience the pleasure out of coming out of your five senses so that is what is called samvedana so see if you go outside and you look at something um, beautiful suppose a young boy looks at a very beautiful girl what does happen that samvedana that comes inside okay i want to experience the pleasure hmm? then the girl looks at the boy the same kind of samvedana that comes so he says that anything or you look at the gulab jamun you feel like eating it you see the chocolate cake you want to eat that you see the pani puri you want to eat that that some samvedana the moment um, we talk about a tamarind or the imli and you look at just the remembrance will uh, what a, it will uh, leak that saliva in your mouth and you will feel watery in your mouth right so that is the samvedana hmm? so it is an activity inside happening within you which is making you go towards experiencing the uh, five senses and its outward going tendencies 
that is called as samvedan that creates some samvedan in you hmm? so that is that creates that that some vibration within you some uh, uh, something within you that's puran that samvedan is called that's the first thing that is the is because of that one gets stuck into avidya so then he says that uh, once that vishaya has gone back that is there now that vishaya has gone away from you suppose you got in touch with somebody okay you uh, spent a good amount of time with that person the beloved ones and now that person is no longer there and you went and you had pani puri you had uh, gulab jamun you had some tasty food yeah and now that vishaya is not there that person has gone no it is uh, probably that um, late night and then okay that to you both of you departed now no? now you have come back home you are lying down on your bed and you are still thinking about pani puri you are still thinking about person you are still thinking about the pleasure that you experience by your five senses when you are in the vicinity of those particular vishayas now those vishayas are not there you are still thinking about them you are still doing the chintan about them so that anusandana is called as your bhavana that is translated in the form of your feelings now you are feeling it now you are remembering it no so that is that longing is also feeling that is the feeling emotions that is the bhavana that comes into picture that also becomes make you caught up means now you have come back here you are supposed to study you are thinking the book is in open in front of you you are thinking about your girlfriend or boyfriend or about food or something else like that are you able to focus on the current present thing what you are supposed to do you are not that is because of the feelings that is because of the bhavana that is the second then if any such bhavana has created a very deep impact on you no? some situation people vyakti paristhiti objects anything that has created some very deep feelings you and it has created a very deep impression on your smriti or your chitta or on your memory so then when such things have created that is called as vasana then it has gone to the level of cravings now you are really now craving for that it's not just does not just that it's in the remembrance of something and then that's about it no now you really you are not able to stop yourself now you want to get out of your seat and you want to go and do it whatever you wanted to do that has transformed into the level of vasana it has become the craver cravings and then because of that vasana even at the time of mrityu even at the time of death also you are continuously thinking about those vishayas you are continuously thinking about those activities those activities because of that that the next deha sankalpana means we so that it's not uh, we have learned art of living how to live this life there is also an art of living how to live this world and he says that at the time of living this world if you are stuck into any vasana that thing then the next deha sankalpana that the next life will influenced by the last thought last thing that you are thinking about and that is when that thing comes that th- that thing is called as kalana so now it's because of what you are thinking because of the sanskara because of the vasana cravings what has gone deeper into you it will take the it will become your sankalpa and you will take that life so these are all the four things so uh, vishnu mani said these are the four things that are the real roots of your avidya they are your real bondage they are your real bondage which are not allowing you to be free to be moksha no? to be free from this janma mrityu this sansara janma mrityu means this sansara to free make yourself free from this sansara are those four avidyas which are really binding you this is the real avidya so these are the four avidya that keeps coming because of the and this vishaya this senses which are outgoing tendencies they are mithya they are illusionary despite of that one gets stuck into this because of those things and the, because in that also if you look at and analyze in that also the first one is samvedana that what samvedana that arise in you that something then some vibration that spandan arise in you that thing and then the uh, second one is the bhavana that when that vishaya is not there continuously thinking about it these are the real two culprits 
that really does not allow you to settle, does not allow you to calm down. In that also, if you look at compare these two also, the samvedan that arise and the bhavana that arise, in that that bhavana is the real culprit here. You no, know? that nothing is there in front of you. You are fantasizing, you are imagining, and because of that feelings and that emotion, you are stuck. You are stuck in the person. You are stuck in the situation. You are stuck in the object. It's purely because of your emotions. So that is the then that is the that. Bhavana, that is the real culprit for you. So like this, it says because of this Bhavana, this, all these things comes into picture. Just like in the rainy season, so many insects that take, um, uh, they, they get created on this planet. And like that, other things, if there are so many different types of species and that thing that comes and they, they are that stuck in this Sansar Shrinkala, this series of death and birth, death and birth. They come there, they go through various emotions, they get thirsty, they get hungry, um, they get disease, they get into old age, they get fear, they get into death, various types of bhogas, this jiva that who comes has to go through this in their life. So that is where they, so because of this, they do not think about the, uh, the future, the past, you know, because of all these things, that they really continue to do in a continuous way. They keep on themselves thinking about those vishayas and get stuck into those emotions and feelings. And because of that, it's just like that fish, which is there in the ocean. And if you go and do the fisher, what does fisherman does? He just put on the hole, there is a hook, and he attaches the small little of flesh or the small little of other um, fish over there. And when the big fish comes and then um, wants to eat that thing, and it means it, it is stuck, yet it will not leave that. It cannot actually leave it. It is stuck into that. Like that, it is the situation that we are also stuck into those vishayas and we are not leaving them. Or even if you want to leave them, it is not aligned. Like that thing, like this, if you look at this mood of Anusha, the one ignorant uh, person, he is stuck into these. What is stuck into their body? Three, the last. Yes, three means it's applicable to both. For you know? also three also. Both are stuck in opposite sex. Dhana, the money, Lakshmi, Lakshmi is what we say, Dhana, etc. So it is like if you really build a castle of a soil without putting water into it, will that say? So it is exactly like this, but despite of that, people really start to build that castle out of this. Uh, in the desert, they are sitting, there is no water around, and that desert is there, that uh, soil is there, and they're trying to build a castle out of it. Will that really remain? No, one small little um, air will come and it will just take it away along with it. Like that thing only, this, uh, like that thing, if really one hold on to all these things, will there be any, any outcome out of that? Like that this person, or like that this craving really makes this sansara very attractive, but there is no Ram there. There is no, uh, there is no pleasure over there. That is how Vashishtamani really explains. And unless and until the one who he gets that viveka, that power of discrimination, that viveka, the other things such as raga, resha, etc., all these things which are there, that person, he experienced that restlessness in their thing. They do not really feel that calmness. So like that, he says that, let me tell you one more very important thing over there, that in this, this, uh, different different objects, people, situation. There is actually no relation in between them. But Bhutte, this is the bhavana. It is the feeling. It is the emotion that creates. See, there is a there is a uh, car which is there in the showroom. You don't feel anything about it. But the moment you go and pay the money, you bring that car at your place. How what is it that you feel? That is my car. See that bhavana. That emotion have arisen you. It is my car. My is ahankara, my car is an associative emotion. The moment this, that car has no association with this body as such, but it is the bhavana, it is the feeling, it is the emotion which has created a relation. As if as there is no, there is no connection between you and your wife or you and your son, there is no, they are two individuals. What is it that binds them together? Again, it's the bhavana, it's the love, it is the emotion, it is that bhavana which makes two 
people feel that they are together that they are connected with each other it is that bhavana in reality they are very separate they have their own chitta kash they have their own things or they are doing it but he says that parasper there is no sambandha there is no relationship between with between them but it is because of this bhavana they got entangled with each other that moha that is created that um, entanglement that is created is moha is created it is because because of this emotion because of this bhavana only so if you see that in this that and it creates that shrinkle it creates that series of such a relation this is mine this is that this is my home this is my wife this is my son all the different different chain reaction it is creates and this and the, in your jiva is now really stuck it is really into the bondage of all these different different emotions and all these different different bhavanas so really really those bhavanas which get deepest within that becomes your cravings that becomes your vasanas hmm? vastutah they are not there they are just illusionary in nature but the people there is no such relation actually exists but it is the bhava it is the people which creates that in the chitta and they gets into this brahma hmm? it is just an illusion in your mind that that's two are related yet that it is the it's create that brahma so much of brahma so much of attachment oh this is my son this is my daughter this is my wife this is my relation this is my car it creates so much of uh, entanglement with all these things it is like that so he said that because of the people get then he said jana he is addressing to that monkey brahmana he says hey sajjana because of this age until man because of this bandha pash so unless until you really get out of this bandha that nasha that is possible only through viveka no only through power of discrimination one can really it is like that one who is walking and if there are thorns on the way the one who is looking at the foot and they are really keeping their foot at the proper place all the thorns will not they it's not trouble them like that this viveka will help us where to put your foot and where not to put your foot so that the thorn doesn't go and pinch you so that is what is being said here so he said that this chaitanya is there which is their omnipresence on omnipotent of this entire chaitanya this atma tatva is there everywhere so if you see and call it uh, with different different things but yet what we will find in that is that real only and only chaitanya he is gives multiple example for example if you take the pot and the clay it is made with so he says that it's a clay it is there in the pot or the akasha which is there inside and outside can you see it different no he says this is the same same similarly the chaitanya the consciousness it is pervading it is the omnipresence omnipotent of that that is there everywhere so this is the, the reason he says that just like the, uh, the river that uh, starts flowing and it ultimately go and meet the ocean and becomes the ocean like that only in all these different different drishtas different different things also you see that there is only one then he also explains the vashishtamani explain the concept of here the drashta drishya and darshan we have seen this hmm? so how does there is a drashta there is a scenery how the one who looks at it and the process of looking is called darshan so he says that in all these three three things although it appears three different terminologies although we say three different thing it is the same chaitanya that is there here in the drishya it is the same chaitanya is there in the process of observing and it's the same chaitanya is there which is observing it also so it's not different it appears that we say different different but in reality it's the same thing it's the same thing clay by which this that pot is made it's not different no so it's the same clay the one which is lying here it's the same clay the one which is there in the pot is also uh, same clay but we call it as pot similarly we call it something here as drishya something as a drashta something as a darshan in reality all these three things are nothing but the same that same chaitanya it is there so that drishya is not different than the knowledge so same thing applies to your gnata the one who is wanting to know gnaya something which is knowable and the knowledge the process of knowing it again these three things it is same in that that same bodharu that gnana swarup that chaitanya is there in that that gnana is not different oh no? like this because it says that there is a 
thing that something which is um, similar to each other they get really mixed with each other very easily so if you mix the um, milk with the water it will very get, easily get entanglement and you will have the uh, milk over there so like that he continues to explain multiple such examples to um, a monkey brahmana and then he really finally tells him that if you look at this on the perspective of this it is really that satta that astitva that spurti that chaitanya that knowledge is really the root of this now because of this triputi kasar that thing that essence of all these triputis what uh, drashta drishya darshan the scenery the seer and the process of seeing the knowledge the knowable and the process of knowing that thing in that that sar that essence is what is that chaitanya it is that awareness that is that consciousness which is there and how it is there it is always there it is sada sarvada vidyaman it is always there that chinmatra atma is what you are that is what you feel and it is because of the avidya it is because of the ignorance that we have seen samvedana bhavana you know, all these four things what we saw samvedana bhavana that vasana because of all these things it really cravings that vibrations pannan that arise in you because of this avidya this is ignorance you are not really um, able to see and it is uh, we can really get or this is through viveka because of the viveka because of the knowledge only one can get uh, remove this avidya this ignorance so this then there are various things such as deha bhavana is there i am this body consciousness i am this 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 is mine all this ahankar also we need to remove that this deha is not me this body is not me so then really you can get free from the things all such things which binds you then like this you once you get remove all your bondage no? then that is what is that uh, anubhav that why then all these things are there and the one which atma is really actually free from this why does that experience doesn't come to us why that self realization does not come to us so he says that the jeeva bhava and atma they are both of them are actually amurta because there is no form associated with it it is really it becomes very difficult for us to understand the um uh, two that they are actually just one thing no we see is that Thing. So yes, asado because of that diva bhava and that ahankara and that atma shuddha chaitanya, both are amurt. It, it doesn't it doesn't have any form. Hmm? Yeah, this, but because of the things that we think, and then we cannot also assume that there are two stool things. There are two grass uh, two things. Matter is there, and like that there is the relationship between them. For example, if you say that. okay you have the berries which are kept in the pot so can you see that relation in between them there is no relation it is just there so like that only jeeva bhava and atma bhava is there and we cannot really explain it in this form that something is first moved something is having a form and something does not have a form it is nothing like that both are amurt hmm? so like that is aham this ahankara that feeling of separateness and atma na both are not having form and because of that there is no relationship that can really exist in both of them so it is just a kalpana because even that ahankara that feeling of separateness is that also real he said no that is also not real this also just in a that is also not real. just like the two the moons you start appearing that bhranti hallucination create just like in the desert you start seeing that mirage so like that if you see that there is nothing there is no truth into it it is just a pure bhram no like that you see and how does one really get out of this so he says that meditation dhyanadi different different upa yoga pranayama meditation all these things and the knowledge naham that i am not this body i am just soham no it is say that soham that that i am that atma i am that parmatma this bhavana this things really one can get over the ahankara they can really get over the thing and establish itself into that nija swarupa something which is 
omnipotent something which is eternal in nature adi ananti ananta that thing one can really get established into that and in that point of time one who really get established into that automatically the external rupa that drishya that form the drishya scenery automatically disappear so he uh, sajjana he um, gentleman you kindly uh, close your eyes and then do the upashama you really get yourself into following the practices of those things you really make yourself calm and quiet uh, that is the only thing and then do the close close your eyes do the meditation then do a chitta vritti nirodha no this tendencies of your mind which are there do the nirodha of that no put a pause to that no, take a time out practice pranayama put a pause on your spandan of your vayus no that will also help you so that is exactly gurudev have given us all the tools all the techniques Uh, the yoga pranayama meditation happiness program advanced program sayama all these things all different different tools continue to practice that you know till you real you are this kalpana this imagination this thought process is there that pravaha that is there like a river is continuously thing that which is taking you entangle into it put and stop put a dam there you no know, put a nirodha like that you do and using the thing so he says that vritti dhyana that drishya is there because of that that swarupa that knowledge is there one is not really able to experience that atma swarupa and as thir no so like this you become stable you become established you get into that ultimate observer ho sakshi bhav get into that that are the things really help and then this sthiti gyana sthiti and the vivara so once really how established into this one really or become dosha raita means all this kam krodh the loba mata moh matsara cravings vishayas outgoing tendencies of your mind all these things have been removed from your system what remains is that that sheetal that the moonlight like that sheetalta that thing will remain and you will become very calm and quiet you will become moni you will become very silent no it will be like that you will start reflecting that divinity within you you will become a karta that doership will drop from you you will become calm you will become the drishya and vishaya shunya means the scenery will not be there and vishayas the outgoing tendencies of your mind vrittis also will not be there in the hrudaya akasha at the level of your hrudaya akasha you will you will experience that chaitanya you will see that complete consciousness is dawn within me and then we will remain over there no so like that he says and then the vivara how the vivara will do how their actions will happen after that he says that it is that thing which does not really allow us to do that i am the doer here i am doing this i am doing that this is mine um, so like this it says because of this sharira mana buddhi means your body your mind your intellect ittadi etc etc all these things just keep moving like that because of that this atma bhav how that will remain how that will become stable in such a situation so he says at a time that chaitanya is there you just focus on that and then he say he basically says that um, if you really ask me that how one can practice like this how one can really do that if there is only one chaitanya is there how is that is remains one and then how the that gati will be there how that speed will be there how does that is possible if you really ask me like this then i will tell answer that even if that uh, thing um, in the cradle that you keep the small baby and the cradle is moving despite of that that kid which is sleeping inside that he doesn't experience that speed that there is a speed yet you does not experience that speed. he is completely calm and he is sleeping no so like that like that only even though you are in this body even those do other actions other vivaras happening you just feel detached from it like that the one who is in the sushupti so that speed and everything doesn't matter so you look at it from the perspective of a uh, ultimate observer just like in sushupti as if you are in a completely deep sleep you once you do start doing that once you start doing this vivahara the actions of your body and other things 
then you will be completely detached from that. No karmas, no impressions of that will get from on you. And then you'll continue to do just action because of the prarabdha karma, because of the prapta karma, you'll able to continue to do all your actions. So such a such a amazing insights. So then that point of time will just become Keval Drishta. You'll become just an ultimate observer like that you will begin. And like the one who is that nirakara, that there is no akara to that, the one who is nirapeksha, there are no apeksha, there are no expectation. It is just keval atma sarupa. You are completely just established yourself into that atma sarupa. That is what is really, really important. And like this, I have really uh, shared this uh, knowledge with them and that um, monkey brahmana really uh, realized uh, this thing because he was already on that path he was already doing these things so just by listening to this knowledge he really got that no he has really become calm and quiet no so like that and then if you see that he's become such a quiet that even if you put the snake on his body he still he will not oh, experience it like this he has become like a pashana he's become like a stable uh, thing and all these things for shanta chitta with the calmness of your mind he lived there for 100 years no he stayed just like that on that parvata he became a passion and now if you look at that his all his indriyas all his five senses has become calm and like that no so even if somebody goes and does he, he will not come to his awareness he has just become stable like that he has actually got the uh, mukti so that is where the 96th chapter, the story of monkey Brahmana and how he got into self-realization, how he got free, uh, uh, that story we saw today. So I like to take a pause. I like to hand over this session to all of you. Unmute option is available. You can unmute yourself if you have any question. You are welcome to ask. If you like to express your takeaways, your learning, from today's monkey story, monkey drama story, you are welcome to do that. Over to you all, Jai Gandhi. अटैचमेंट और ये कैसे ये थोड़ा सा उसके बारे में बताइए हाँ तो इसके लिए यहाँ पे वशिष्ठ मुनि एक बड़ा सुंदर उपाय यहाँ पे देते है बोलते है की यह सारी जो चीजें बाहर की जो देखते है व्यक्ति परिस्थिति जो हमें दिखाई देती है बोलते इसको तुम इल्यूजन ही मान लो इसको माया मान लो बोले इसको सत्य ही नहीं है तो यह सिर्फ एक भ्रम है यह सिर्फ एक अंतल चीज है या इसको एक ड्रीम के रूप में देख लो स्वप्न के बात में देख लो तो बोलते जब आप ऐसे चीजों को देखने लगे कि सामने जो है वो सत्य ही नहीं है सामने वही जो अनरियल है और वो एक स्वप्न के बात है तो फिर उससे मोह कैसा उससे एंटाइंगल कैसी उससे दुख कैसा तो बोलते अनरियल वर्ल्ड्स के क्या दुख पाओगे तो बोलते ये ये उपाय है ये पहला उपाय जो दूसरा उपाय बता कि यह सारी चीजें जो है ये अविद्या के कारण होता है ये माया के कारण होता है तो बोलते इस अवेयरनेस को जान लो अरे यार तो ये तो माया है तो माया को जान लिया तो माया को फिर जान लिया तो फिर उससे मुक्त होने का प्रयत्न नहीं करो बोलते हाँ उसमें जैसे कि एक फिश है वो फिश क्या करता है पानी में रहता है यदि फिश क्या बोलेगा मुझे पानी से निकलना है तो निकल पाएगा क्या पानी में ही रह के उसको जीवन जीना है वैसे ही जीवन जीना बोला मेरे को फिश को बोलेगा मेरे को पानी से निकालो पानी से निकालो फिर देह छोड़ो मरो मरना पड़ेगा उससे पहले तो बोलते उससे निकल तो बोलते उससे निकलने का प्रयत्न नहीं करो फिश वाणी में रहो लेकिन उसमें अंदर जीने का जीवन जीने का तरीका सीख लो तो तरीका क्या है तो बोलते तरीका यही है कि देखो अपने आप को देखो कि जो अपना जो आ, समझता है कि मैं यह शरीर हूँ 
ये भ्रम है ना ये अहंकार है कि मैं यह शरीर हूँ क्या आप सच मुझे सिर्फ शरीर हो नहीं हा? क्या आप ठीक है मैं सोमेश्वर हूँ एक ही सोमेश्वर है पूरी दुनिया में बोलते तो नहीं कई सारे हैं तो फिर मैं होता तो मैं ही होता ना तो बोलते यह सारा जो हम लोग अपने आप को आइडेंटिटीज लगा देते हैं अपने आप को यह अहंकार जोड़ देते हैं अपने आप को अलग मानते हैं शरीर मैं शरीर वैसा समझते बोलते यह सारी मिथ्या है यही तो सारी कल्पना है तो बोलते ऐसे ज्ञान में जब तुम आते हो ऐसे चीजों में धीरे धीरे करते हो और इसके साथ बहुत सारी चीजें भी तुम्हें हेल्प करेगी योगा प्राणायामा मेडिटेशन टेक्निक साधु संकति नॉलेज लिसनिंग टू दिस नॉलेज ओवर एंड अगेन न मैंने सब कुछ जान लिया यह तो सबसे बड़ा अज्ञान है यह सबसे बड़ी माया है बोलते जितनी इस विश्व में जानने के लिए इतना कुछ है और आप बोलते हो थोड़ा कुछ इधर उधर पढ़ के मैंने सब कुछ जान ली भाई क्या जान लिया तुमने कुछ भी नहीं जाना कितना कुछ है यहाँ पे हमने तो छोटा सा जाना तो सारी चीजें जो हमें अहंकार में फंसाती है सारी चीजें जो हमें यहाँ पे ऐसे महसूस कराती है कि आपने बहुत कुछ जान लिया या आपने बहुत कुछ पता कर लिया या मैं ये हूँ अपनी आइडेंटिटीज बना लिया या अपने को बाहरी विषय में उलझा कर इसका ज्ञान इसका अवेयरनेस ही आपको उसे मुक्त कर देगा कि अरे यार ये तो सत्य नहीं है ये तो मुझे है तो माया है ये तो सारे जो रिलेशनशिप है इसमें असलियत में कोई आ, रिलेशन ही नहीं है तो भावना है कि जो भावना दो चीजों को एक साथ जोड़ रही नहीं तो आप आप वो मर्सिडीज गाड़ी उधर बढ़नी आपका और उसका क्या नाता था देर वॉज नो रिलेशन आपने भावना चलने के मंदिर को खरीद लिया है आपने क्या किया कर लिया उसको भावना की वजह से वो वस्तु के और आपके बीच में रिलेशन बन गया असलियत में कोई रिलेशन है निर्जीव वस्तु है वो उसके और आपके बीच में रिलेशन नहीं है तब भी आपने बना लिया तो इसके बारे में अवगत हो जाना अरे सचमुच में क्या मेरा रिलेशन है क्या एक छोटे सा खरोच वहां पर पड़ जाता है तो अपने अंदर से इतना दुख हो जाता है ओ माई कार इस तरह से हम लोग कहते हैं ना ओ मेरा कार नहीं तो सामने वाले को गुस्सा हो जाए तेरे को दिखाई नहीं देता क्या कैसे मेरे कार के ऊपर स्क्रैच डाल दिया देखो ये इट्स ऑल भावना ये समझ जाएंगे ना कि जो सारी चीजें अपने जीवन में जो घटनाएं घटित हो रही है उसको यदि थोड़ा सा दृष्टिकोण तो कल का जो ज्ञान सत्र था ना इंटरनेट नोट टू सिंसे गुरुदेव बोलते हैं ना जस्ट अ लिटिल शिप इसके लिए सब बहुत प्रयत्न करने की आवश्यकता नहीं है एक छोटा सा दृष्टिकोण भी बदल दिया ना उसको देखने का तरीका बदल दिया तो वो आपको जो आपने प्रश्न जो पूछा ना उसका उत्तर आपने को मिल जाएगा खुद ही आपको ही उसका उत्तर मिल जाए और सर ये थोड़ा सा अलग है मेरा क्वेश्चन कि हमने योग वशिष्ठ के रामायण से हमने किया है ना तो राम तो अटैच से ना सीता सीता देवी से तो हम कैसे कह सकते कि हमारे जीवन में हम कैसे हम तो अटैच तो रहते हैं ना हमारे रिलेटिव से हस्बैंड से कैसे तो कैसे हम इसको कैसे दृष्टि से देखने देखना है हमें हाँ हाँ तो जिस चीज को आप अटैचमेंट कह रहे हैं ना वो अटैचमेंट आपके अंदर है वो अटैचमेंट यदि आपके अंदर से निकल गया तो फिजिकल रूप से आप किसी के साथ भी रह सकते हो उसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आप अपने एक्शंस जो है ना तो इसमें दो प्रकार की मुक्तियां बताई गई है जो आप बात कर रहे हो ना वो बोलते कि ऐसे करते समय मुक्त कैसे कोई इंसान हो जाएगा बिकॉज राम भी तो सीता के साथ थे तो फिर राम कैसे मुक्त कहलाए तो इसी के लिए आप योग का जो पहले से पूरा जो नॉलेज है ना उसको थोड़ा और डिटेल में वर्णन जानना पड़ेगा तो जो अपना जो एक्शंस जो होते हैं ना वो एक्शंस करते समय आपका कर्तापन का भावना उसमें आ गया या उससे कुछ आपके एक्शंस करते समय कुछ उसमें से इम्प्रेशन आपके चित्त के ऊपर तैयार हो गए तो वो आपके कर्म कहलाते हैं और ऐसी परिस्थिति आप उत्पन्न नहीं होने देते हो तो फिर मैटर नहीं करता है कि आप शादीशुदा हो या नहीं हो आप सन्यासी हो या नहीं हो आप जॉब कर रहे हो स्टूडेंट हो गृहिणी हो बिजनेसमैन हो कुछ भी मैटर नहीं करेगा आप वो सारी चीजों को कर सकते हैं लेकिन वो करते समय कर्तापन का भाव नहीं रखना राम के सीता बीबी थी फाइन इट वॉज देर डेक्टिंग उन्होंने उनके सारे जो कर्तव्य थे उनके प्रति उनको निभाया उनको दो पुत्र भी थे हम लोग जानते सब कुछ किया उन्होंने सेक्स किया उनके साथ ये किया सारा सब कुछ किया लेकिन फिर भी उससे वो अटैच नहीं रहे तो उन उसमें वो कर 
क्रिया करते समय उससे कोई कर्तापन का भाव या उसमें वो अटैचमेंट और एंटाइगलमेंट ना होने की वजह से वो सारे कार्य मुक्त स्थिति में उन्होंने किए मुक्त स्थिति में होके कार्य कर सकते हैं इसको सदेह मुक्ति कहते हैं और जो मृत्यु के बाद यदि आपकी सारी संकल्पनाएं आपकी सारी वातनाएं नष्ट हो चुकी हैं और फिर उसके बाद में आपकी कोई संकल्प ही नहीं बचा नया जन्म लेने के लिए आप सारे वासना से मुक्त हो गए और उसके बाद में जन्म और मृत्यु के चक्कर से छूट गए तो उसको विदेह मुक्ति कर दिए आप जो बोल रहे हैं कि राम जी कैसे सीता के साथ थे वो सदेह मुक्ति को प्राप्त कर चुके थे जो सदेह मुक्ति को लोग प्राप्त करते हैं उनका चीजें सारे करते हुए दिखते हैं वो लेकिन उसका उसमें भी एंटेंगलमेंट अटैचमेंट नहीं रहता है अभी इस स्थिति को प्राप्त कैसे करें तो उसके लिए तो सब कुछ कर रहे थे ये जो सब कुछ चल रहा है ज्ञान को सुन रहे हैं जीवन में गुरु आ गए गुरुदेव ने हमें इतने उपदेश दिए नॉलेज दिया सारे टूल्स दिए साधना सेवा सत्संग सुदर्शन क्रिया सारे टूल्स दिए तो इसके इसकी प्रैक्टिस फिर करो प्रैक्टिस करो रोज आओ यहाँ पे रोज इसको ज्ञान को सुनो रोज इस तरह से प्रश्न पूछो राम जी ने यही किया तो ये पूरा देखो बहुत सारे प्रश्न पूछो फिर धीरे धीरे ऐसा एक दिन आएगा ना आप खुद ही बोलोगे वो दिन और आज का दिन है ऐसे कई सारे लोगों का अनुभव है आप देखो वो अनुभव आप थैंक यू सर अच्छा लगा थोड़ा थोड़ा कंटिन्यूसली पेशेंटली रोज रोज बार बार इसको सुनो बार बार अटेंड करो बार बार सुनो और बाकी हो जाएगा हाँ और किसी को अपना प्रश्न पूछना है अपने आप को व्यक्त करना है कर सकते हैं सर और एक बस पूछ सकते हो क्या ज्यादा प्रश्न नहीं 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 आप बिल्कुल अपने मन में निसंकोच होके बात कर सकते हैं आप यह समय आपका ही है यह टाइम जो है ना यह आपका टाइम है आप बिल्कुल निसंकोच होके यहाँ पे कुछ भी पूछे टाइम का भी कोई बंधन नहीं आप पूछिए बिंदा सर ब्रह्म विद्या ब्रह्म विद्या बहुत मैंने सुना है उसके बारे में थोड़ा सा आप बता सकते हैं ब्रह्म विद्या के बारे में हाँ तो जो ब्रह्म विद्या बोलते हैं या जो ब्रह्म साधना बोलते हैं जो होती है उसी को हम लोग आत्म साधना भी बोलते हैं तो ब्रह्म विद्या माने क्या कि मैं मैं यह शरीर नहीं हूं मैं यह बाकी की सारे जो अस्तित्व के सारे जो स्तर है वह मैं नहीं हूं मैं एक ब्रह्म स्वरूप एक चैतन्य आत्मा हूं इस तरह से अपने आप को सोचना इस तरह से उसका बार बार चिंतन करना अनुसंधान करना बार बार उस ध्यान मग्न होके उस शिव अवस्था को उस शून्य अवस्था को प्राप्त करना यही ब्रह्म विद्या है यही परम ज्ञान है और इसी स्थिति को हमको वहां पे पहुंचना है जब ध्यान करते हैं गुरुदेव के साथ तो यह स्थिति आती है जो तुरा अवस्था जो बोलते हैं ना कि जागृत स्वप्न सुषिप्ता तीनों को छोड़ते हैं तुरी अवस्था होती है और फिर तुरिया उस अवस्था को ही यहाँ पे ब्रह्म अवस्था बोलते हैं उसको प्राप्त करने की जो विद्या है वही ब्रह्म विद्या है ट्रू आउट द योग शिष्ट का जो सार है वो ब्रह्म विद्या है और ब्रह्म माने की ब्रह्म तो हम लोग बुला रहे इन रियलिटी हम लोग जानते नहीं कि क्या है तो हम लोग कभी उसको शिव बुलाते हैं कभी ब्रह्म बुलाते हैं कभी उसी को आत्मा बुलाते हैं ईश्वर बुलाते हैं परमात्मा बुलाते हैं तो बोलते वो कहीं और और कहीं दूर ही बैठा है बोलते वही आत्मा वही सेल्फ आपके अंदर भी है तो उसी अपने आप को जानने की जो प्रक्रिया है तो फिर बार बार प्रश्न पूछो हु माई को हम को हम हु माई वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ माई लाइफ ऐसे प्रश्न खुद को पूछते रहो जो भी आंसर आएगा बोलेगा ये नहीं है जो भी आंसर आएगा ये नहीं है जो भी आंसर आएगा नेति 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 का प्रिंसिपल अप्लाई करो ढूंढो इसको इसका उत्तर कोई बताता है आपको तो भाग जाओ आसे वो जानता नहीं है जो बताएगा जो ब, जो जानता है वो बताएगा नहीं आपको बिकॉज यू आर द ओनली वन इन दिस एंटायर प्लेनेट नॉट इवन गुरु ऑल्सो कैन मेक यू रियलाइज दैट ही विल शो यू द पाथ यू विल क्रिएट द एनवायरमेंट His blessings will work, but who will realize ultimately? You are the only one. The self is the only one who is capable of realizing self. So you are capable of realizing yourself. 
नोबडी एल्स ऑन दिस प्लानिट कोई भी नहीं तो आपको ही अनुभव करना है तो वो आपको अनुभव करने के लिए जो ज्ञान है जो विद्या है वही ब्रह्म विद्या है वही आत्म विद्या भी इसको कहते आत्म ब्रह्म शिव ईश्वर परमात्मा कॉन्शियसनेस सब एक ही के नाम है एक ही के अपने आप को जानने की जो प्रक्रिया है जो ज्ञान है वही आत्म विद्या है वही ब्रह्म विद्या है ओके सर थैंक यू ओके हाँ तो ऐसे जरूर अपने प्रश्न पूछो और सारी डाउट्स को क्लियर कर लो सारी शंकाओं को यहाँ पे निकाल लो ये इसी के लिए ये सत्र चल ही रहा है आपके लिए चल रहा है और इससे ऐसे ऐसे करते समय हमें भी कुछ वहां से सीखने को मिल जाता है हाँ रमा जी आप काफी देर से वेट कर रहे हो <laughs> मुझे लग रहा है कि सोनिया बोल रही थी क्या न चंचल ओके देन आई आई हेड कम टू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ बसिस्ट था बसो स्थित बसिस्थ बसो मीन बसु मीन्स वेल्थ बसु मीन्स वेल्थ दैट नॉट द वेल्थ दैट वी सी इन द प्रैक्टिकल वर्ल्ड या धन उस टाइप का वेल्थ नहीं है वेल्थ मीन्स द सुप्रीम नॉलेज सुप्रीम वेल्थ देन हु एवेड्स इन दिस सुप्रीम वेल्थ ही इज बसिस्थ बसो स्थित बसिस्थ so i had come to know that meaning a basist and uh, i had a um, curiosity the what is the meaning of basist so baso sthita basist and uh, you you have uh, told me that uh, abidha ka karan me basana bhi ek hai so basana um, basana do type ke hote subha basana and asub basana but do both are the गुड टू द कमन पीपल देन शुभ वासना इज टर्न इन टू satvik vasana then there is no problem there is no bondage of subha vasana there is two types of vasana i had come to know that there is two types of vasana subha vasana and asub vasana the jaise jaise din ja raha hai aise aise gyan ka parat khulte khulte ja raha hai bahut acha lag raha hai bahut acha lag raha hai i had mane itna acha lag raha hai ki I never want to miss this session. Thank you, Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Dev, Ramaji. I can see that smile. I can see that uh, enthusiasm. Ah, uh, your expression me, wo, your words me, 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 तब वो शुभ वासना होना अच्छा कुछ करना है मुझे सेवा कुछ करना है मुझे यह कुछ करना है यह आ जाता है आता ही है अच्छी बात है बोलते उसको छोड़ना नहीं है लेकिन अल्टीमेटली सत्य देखो अल्टीमेटली देखो तो ना पाप में फंसना है ना पुण्य में फंसना पाप तो करना ही नहीं है मुझे पुण्य करना है वो भी नहीं करना है बस बोलते जो जन्म लेना पड़ेगा वो फिर उसके कर्मों के भोग कर्म बन गया कि मैंने पुण्य किया देखो मैंने कितना केयर मेरा कॉलर टाइप मैंने कितना अच्छा काम कर दिया खत्म तो उस पुण्य को लेके उसके जन्म लेना पड़ेगा भले ही देव बन जाओगे आप लेकिन जन्म लेना पड़ेगा उसके लिए भी वो अच्छे कर्मों के फलों को सुख को भोगने के लिए क्योंकि भोगी है वो भोग माने सिर्फ दुख नहीं होते सुखों को भी भोगी बोला गया है तो बोलते वो भोगने के लिए जन्म लेना पड़ेगा तो बोलते कितना बढ़िया रमा जी ने कहा कि दोनों भी नहीं शुभ को भी नहीं अशुभ को भी नहीं इनिशियली ठीक है शुभ भावना आती है अच्छा होता है कुछ करने का अच्छा मन कर लेकिन उसके बाद मुझे कुछ अच्छा करना है ऐसा मैं रहूंगा ही नहीं उधर करता अपन का भाव ही नहीं रहेगा गुरुदेव बोलते मैं ऐसा कोई काम नहीं करता जो मेरे नेचर के खिलाफ है जो मेरा नेचर है बस वही को सीखो करते रहता हूँ कोई करतापन का भाव ही नहीं उसको 
कि मैं सेवा कर रहा हूँ अरे भाई जो तुम्हारा नेचर है खाते हो पीते उठे हो ऐसे ही तुम बोलते हो ज्ञान निकलता है तुम्हारे मुख से ऐसे ही प्रेम निकलता है लोगों के लिए तो फिर वो क्या कहा से सेवा हो गई लोग उसको सेवा की तरह देख रहे आपके प्रति उससे देखो तो बोलते मैं मेरे नेचर के अगेंस्ट कुछ करता ही नहीं हूँ कोई सेवा विवाह नहीं करता उनका हर क्षण यदि सेवा बन जाए तो कहा से अलग से सेवा मैंने ऐसा नहीं कि मैंने इतना 24 घंटा बिता उसमें से दो घंटा सेवा किया जी बोलने की जरूरत ही नहीं पड़ेगी बिकॉज यूर लाइफ एज बिकम अ सेवा नाउ यूर हर क्षण यूर मोमेंट एज बिकम अ सेवा दैट इज जीवन मुक्ति दैट इज सहदेय मुक्ति एंड कितना सुंदर एक्सप्रेशन यहाँ पे रमा जी के मुख से आया थैंक यू सो मच रमा जी फॉर दैट वॉज वंडरफुल शेयरिंग वी ऑल्सो है संगीता जी भी तो संगीता जी भी अपने बहुत अपने एक्सपीरियंस को बहुत अच्छी तरह से एक्सप्रेस करते हैं संगीता जी वॉन्ट यू लेट्स लिसन थैंक यू सोमेश्वर जी इट वॉज एन अमेजिंग सेशन और जितना हम बैठते हैं यू नो उतना ही वो अंदर से इट इज जस्ट लाइक अ फाउंटेन यू नो That is what it is, and I just had a thought. कि अभी जो question पूछा, I don't know your name, dear, whatever. Uh, if you can just post on your name also, we can call you by that name. Uh, it is like you know, you have come up to that stage. उस stage पे तक हम आ गए हैं कि you know वो अंदर से जो मुमुक्ष की जो भावना उठती है कि हु एम आई वॉट एम आई वाई एम आई हियर पल्लवी ओ या दैट सो नाइस पल्लवी टू हरि प्लाम क्वेश्चन सो पल्लवी यू नो वी आर देयर एट दैट पॉइंट सो वो बहुत ही अच्छी एक यू नो इट इज अ इंडिकेशन कि आप जो है अब और आगे की तैयारी कर रहे हैं सो बींग मुमुक्ष वॉज योर क्वेश्चन इसी तरह से राजा जनक जब पूछता है तो वो यही पूछता है यू नो हिस्स थ्री क्वेश्चन की हु एम आई वाई एम आई हियर वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ माई लाइफ सो द होल अष्टावक्र गीता स्टार्ट फ्रॉम देर एक्सैक्टली इन द सेम वे यू हैव ऑल्सो बीन आज द सेम क्वेश्चन सो आई एम रियली श्योर जस्ट बी विथ योर सेल्फ एंड दैट सेल्फ नॉलेज That inner intelligence will help you and guide you to go ahead, you know. But उसके साथ of course being in the sangat of साथ sangat is also required. Doing your uh, whatever uh, you know, जैसे अभी बताया कि meditations करो वो करो साधना अपने चाहिए सत्संग चाहिए सेवा चाहिए all these things. If you go on attaching, I'm sure about it today. Really, you can reach to that stage. देखो ये ऐसे ही है. कि बिल्कुल जैसे हम ड्राइविंग करते हैं एक दिन में तो सीखते नहीं है पहले दिन तो जाएंगे तो एबीसी सिखाएंगे एक्सीटर ब्रेक क्लच यू नो इट्स लाइक दैट ग्रेजुअली यू टेक इट अहेड देन द टीचर इज देयर विद अ ब्रेक्स इन इज हैंड इन इज फिट नॉट इन इज हैंड बट इन इज हैंड मीन्स ही इज द वन बट यू थिंक यूर ड्राइविंग बट वो ब्रेक अपने में लगाता रहता है तो यू नो एक सेंस आता है कि ओ आई कैन आई कैन ड्राइव बट वंस यू लर्न द ड्राइविंग that is a different experience so exactly like that just give us some time give yourself that energy to do it that space to come up to that and you will reach there's nothing it's very easy don't worry about it and so meshwar ji is there to guide you to help you out in every way we all are there our sankalp for you is always there pallavi so it's very good to hear from you this okay so so one more thing i would love to share today is like it was a very good one yeah uh, yes that's very nice see the change you know see the image change that has come in pallavi she put her name in that so it shows you know all these things wo dikhata hai ki you know moment to moment you're changing you're turning you're going towards that everybody is growing towards that but ye jo hai wo changes jab dikhte hai na then you feel happy then you feel that joy and a bliss you know that fountain just just start it so let it be let it go on you know don't stop that that is what it is very good all the best to you yeah so uh, today mm-hmm. we saw that avidya ignorance you know that avidya ka jo ignorance hai wo vishay vasnas yahan jo hamari jo those vrittis jo tendencies which are going outward always you know daud rahi hai bahar ki taraf usko hum andar kaise kehte hain apne aur wo bahar jane ka pehla bataya samvedna samvedna is the feeling of that experience that pleasure that vibrations which comes in you that urge 
that develops in you when you see something you know that urge is the first thought of all this of the whole series then you know you just see that mercedes in the showroom that's it and the urge comes now i want that then you start planning you know you will plan when to buy what to buy how to arrange it मनी किधर से आएगा क्या होगा कलर कौन सा लू आगे लू पीछे रूम कितना अच्छा है लेग रूम्स कितना अच्छा है ब्रेक्स कितना अच्छा है ये क्या है वो क्या है देन यू गो इन टू दो डिटेल्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग सो फर्स्ट इज इट संवेदना दैट अर्ज टू बाय दैट कार दैट इज वॉट इट इज सो इफ यू हैव द कंट्रोल ऑन दैट इट सेल्फ यू आर द विनर second is the bhavana bhavana is remembering the pleasures or the fantasies or imagining now what happens when you see that car you feel oh i can go on a fast ride i can go on a ocean drive i can do this i can go up till the, and the wings like the it opens like that you know the doors are like this like a test life you see so all these things are the bhavana that is the remembering the pleasures than the fantasies and imagining all those happening to you with yourself so those imaginations are those bhavanas and third one is the memories that is your vasanas then again comes the vasanas like they become your memories now then isn't it it's simple they become your memories so they keep on storing in your chittas and that conditioning is also make you drive all that and the fourth one so make sure i don't get the name actually it's not i cannot recollect that name what was the fourth one fourth one is the kalina kalina and that is and kalina is basically at the time of death ah. at the time of this world that whatever because of the vasanas because the first three there is some deep impression that has come into picture yes. and yes. as of that, you take the deya sankalpana you assume the new form you assume the new life and because of whatever the vasanas craving there because of that you get into the new life that is called as kalina kalina means a whole picture of your life just reels in front of you that is what i have been hearing no. during no. the last minute no no right? not that no not, not that no, no. Oh. because of the impression that has been created the last thought that last sankalpa that comes uh-huh. to for example we look at the story of that vashishta uh, brahmana not vashishta muni here yeah? at vashishta brahmana who became the padma raja what was his last thought he wanted to be a king king so, so he, that that thought that sankalpa to be a king when he died he became the king so that is called as kalina okay okay got it very you clear a uh, life picture it is just that last sankalpa ah, which ah, allows ah, ah. makes you take the new jeeva bhava you are stuck actually you are basically stuck in this sans uh, sans sansara of janma and mrityu death and life death and life you are just yeah. now you and you want a new new birth because you are desire some project fulfilled so you are stuck in the vasanas you want to take a new life now now this body is not supporting you so you take a new life and that thing is that last process that is called as kalina that is the avidya that is your stuck because of that you are stuck has it yeah yeah it's quite clear now yeah so it's the last thing that that comes to your mind and then this as as uh, the story said ki he wanted to be the king and he went and he became he took the birth as a king yeah so that's it so that is kalina so uh, uh, these all these four avidyas which are there in our so we have to go beyond that that is what is the knowledge takes us so that is the first take away so everybody can share their take away also and there are plenty of other take aways over here you know how you go beyond that and then how you merge into that brahman and then your status as the brahman which is being taught over seen over here ki how you just see this world as a dream and then you can go ahead that is the whole yoga vashish teaches us and then with your heart and a mind cool with the extinction of the fire of the desires so that fire which is burning in you of the desire 
just gets cooled down and your mind is sikdam is the knower of the truth and free from all the attractions and in a perfect equilibrium even when he is not practicing meditation but then still that effect is always there you know just as waters of pool remain undisturbed when there are no outlets so when there are no outlets your whole energy is conserved in that your own self and that is what it is so my first takeaway is a is a short one we i pass it to all of you you can also share your takeaways we will go for the next one then over to you somesh will say yeah so amazing that and um, when we saw this four up with um, avidyas and the fourth one is kalina obviously then the question comes that how does one can get away from that if when the mind is stuck like this into the sansara and into the death and uh, this birth how does one get out of it so in the previous chapter if you look at no there was this story of the truth about the your death so we really need to know what the process of death that that itself is a um, rahasya right it's one of the mystery so if you really know that what is the death in real what is that we think as a death we think this body is died that in ignorance this body is died and the people around us cry for that oh i have left somebody somebody has left to it us like that but the why the realized one why the knowledge why the wise people do not have that too much of shoka not too much of regret or too much of crying why it is not there because they really know what the death is what is the real death here the death is of your body the one that supreme chaitanya that atma anyway that doesn't die okay then your chitta means your this body what you it appears here is the grass root level body there is also another subtle body called as ativaik sharir that is your chitta chitta doesn't die what your chitta does this the moment this body drops this chitta assumes the new body for you the person has died their body is lying down for that particular person chitta at the level of chitta that chitta is there in the chida akash that chitta is there and that chitta is has now taken a new sankalpa and it has started its new life also so it is stuck in like this it is stuck in this no so that kalina is the avidya awareness about it this is how it is then the moment you become aware about it then you will not want to have any sankalpa even at the time of death but if you do not practice that now will that thing will happen at the time of death only it will not happen so you stop practicing of dropping your sankalpa right now sankalpa vikalpa both punya papa both wanting to do both good bad both i am doing i am not doing both there is nothing for me that i don't want to do it i can do i am married man which is fine no i i am doing just actions here without getting attached to it so that practice of non doership akarta bhav that that takes time no little bit of practice is required for that how the patanjali gives the sutra there is a question over here when that will happen hmm? how much time it takes for detachment when we practice seva sadhana etc answer will be the time depends upon the individual to individual depending upon their past karmas depending upon their intensity of the current actions कितने इंटेंसिटी से आप कर रहे हो बोलते हैं कोई यदि किसी इंसान को पानी में फेंक दो तो वो बचने की कोशिश कितनी इंटेंसिटी करेगा हाफ हार्टेड 75% 95% पूरा ऐसे हाथ पैर मार के डूबना नहीं चाहेगा ना कितनी इंटेंसिटी से बचेगा बोलते उस इंटेंसिटी से करो कुछ भी चीज करो तो तो पतंजलि बोलते हैं कि कैसे आएगा कोई भी चीज तो बोलते सतो दीर्घ कालम satodirgha kalam over a period of time nirantar without any gap satodirgha kalam nirantar without any gap and how how you need to do it with satkara sevita with honor and respect 
towards the knowledge, towards the master, towards the technique, whatever your practices are there. Once you do this, then it will become your Dhrida Nishchaya. Then it will become your Dhrida Bhumika. Then it will be firmly established. So exact time frame in the time of unit, one year, two year, can't be told. No. It is something related to really, really individual. It can happen. Just just दृष्टि वो दृष्टिकोण बदल गया जथा दृष्टि जथा सृष्टि आपकी दृष्टि तथा सृष्टि जैसे आप देख रहे हो वैसे ही सृष्टि नजर आएगी वैसे ही मुक्त हो जाओगे आप तो यह हो सकता है अभी राइट नाउ इन दिस मोमेंट आल्सो पॉसिबल है नहीं तो फिर प्रैक्टिस भी उसको करनी लग सकती है यदि आपको हर क्षण ऐसी स्थिति में रहना है तो उसके लिए जरूर प्रैक्टिस लगेगी हर क्षण मुक्त रहना है तो जरूर प्रैक्टिस का ही खेल है तो टू डू प्रैक्टिस कितना क्या इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द इंडिविजुअल सो दैट वाज अनदर क्वेश्चन एंड द टेक अवे हियर अच्छा पल्लवी जी इट्स नॉट जस्ट दैट वी आस्क यू टू जस्ट आपने जो कुछ भी सुना इफ यू फील लाइक दैट आई हैव लर्न दिस टुडे इट्स ओके टू एक्सप्रेस आप अपना अनम्यूट करके या वीडियो चालू करके अपने आप को यहां पे व्यक्त भी कर सकते हो दैट इज आल्सो फाइन सर मैं हिंदी में बोलना चाहूंगी कोई भी कोई इंग्लिश का कोई बंधन नहीं मराठी हिंदी इंग्लिश किसी में भी सर सर मुझे लगता है कि हम जीवन जीते हैं तो हमने सीखा है कि हमें चार पुरुषार्थों के ऐसे में जाना जाना होता है यानी सिद्ध करने होते हैं वो है धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष में हमें जाना चाहिए तो हमें पहले हमें हम सीखते हैं जब बचपन होता है तो सब सीखते हैं हम तो मैंने गुरुजी से भी सीखा है भाई कि हम हमें जाना होता है उस स्थिति में से तो हम जब टीनेजर होते हैं तो हम सीखते हैं सब और फिर काम के दिशा में बढ़ते हैं फिर बड़े हो जाते हैं सब संसार के स्थिति में आ जाते हैं फिर धीरे धीरे हम सब ये छोड़ छाड़ के फिर अः वृद्धावस्था में आ जाते हैं फिर मोक्ष धर्म अर्थ काम और मोक्ष के स्थिति में धीरे धीरे ऐसे इस स्थिति में से हम जाते हैं तो इस स्थिति में हम धीरे धीरे सीखते हैं कि डिटैचमेंट अभी हम सीख रहे हैं हम हम संसार की स्थिति में है लेकिन हम आ, है अटैच है लेकिन हम सीख रहे हैं कि डिटैचमेंट कैसे हम कर सकते हैं हम सीख रहे हैं वो प्रोसेस में है अभी हम ऐसे अब अभी आपने भी इतना अच्छा बताया तो वो हम हमारे माइंड में डाल के हुए है कि हाँ हम संसार में हैं और हमारे हम अटैचमेंट है सभी से और आपने अभी बताया कि हमें कैसे डिटैचमेंट करना है यानी वो राम का आपने बताया एक उदाहरण उसमें से ही हमने सीख हम सीख रहे हैं प्रोसेस में है हम कि वो संसार में रह के भी हमें डिटैचमेंट धीरे धीरे कैसे करना है और फिर उस स्थिति में जाके हमें धीरे धीरे वो स्थिति में है हमें कैसे और आपने अच्छा बताया कि हम पलक छपते ही वो स्थिति को हम प्राप्त कर सकते लेकिन हमारे इतना प्रैक्टिस और वो सब चाहिए वो आपने बहुत अच्छा मुझे मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा वो सर आपका सर थैंक यू देखो कितना सुंदर वर्णन किया आपने पुरुषार्थ का यही है तो आप इसको ऐसे ही करें अपने आप को व्यक्त करें इस तरीके से और जो सीखने की बात है आप नहीं हम भी सीख रहे हैं यू आर ऑल वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस हम लोग सभी यहाँ पे कुछ ना कुछ यहाँ पे आते हैं अपने आप को व्यक्त करते हैं तो जरूर कुछ ना कुछ तो सीख मिलती है मुझे भी मिल रही है तो देट वॉज वेरी गुड पल्लवी और किसी को अपने आप को व्यक्त करना है भोसले सर रोहिणी जी सुचित्रा जी देखिए बोली बोला कीजिए अपने आप को व्यक्त कीजिए पल्लवी जी ने एक को कैसे प्रश्न भी पूछे व्यक्त भी किया रमा जी संगीता जी करते हैं बात करते हैं ना तो अपने आप को व्यक्त करने से आपको भी अच्छा लगेगा एंड यू विल लर्न समथिंग मोर और वो ध्रुव भी बन जाता है जब आप उसको मुख से बोलते हैं ना तो इट बिकम्स ऑल्सो एस्टेब्लिश 
तो इट्स अ गुड आइडिया टू डू दैट डरने की कोई बात नहीं सब लोग अपने ही यहाँ पे ओके एनी अदर टेक अवे संगीता जी वुड यू लाइक टू कंटिन्यू जस्ट स्ट्राइक्स मी कि हाँ जैसे वो फिश को कैसे पकड़ते हैं आपने बताया अभी यू नो जस्ट स्मॉल फ्लैश एंड यू द फिश इज हुक्ड टू दैट इट तो इसी तरह से हमारे जो प्लेजर्स है जो हमारी जो डिजायर्स है जो इच्छाएं हैं जो भी है दे आर दे आर जस्ट लाइक दैट फ्लैश यू नो एंड उसको हुक करते हैं और हमारा हम जो है वो फंस जाते हैं किस में फंसते हैं वो जीवन मरण के चक्कर में फंस जाते हैं तो उससे हमको निकलने के लिए ही जो रास्ते बताते हैं जो योग वशिष्ठ में बताया गया है अपना सेल्फ नॉलेज रखो अपनी अवेयरनेस रखो और और आगे बढ़ते रहो यू नो जैसे और भी बहुत सारी बातें बताई कि यू नो मृग तृष्णा का जल है वैसे वैसे समझ के चलो ऐसे की यू नो दिखता है सब कुछ लेकिन कुछ भी नहीं है वो भाजता है लेकिन वहां पे कुछ नहीं है और उसके ऊपर तो जो कल हमने हमने जो कल भी सुना था कि यू नो एवरीथिंग इज ब्रह्मन इवन दैट नॉलेज कैन अप्लाई सो देर आर डिफरेंट वेज अपने आप को समझाने के लिए या जो भी हमें पसंद आता है हम उसके थ्रू अगर हम आगे भी बढ़ जाते हैं तो इट इज ओके विथ अस यू नो सो देर आर प्लेंटी ऑफ नॉलेज जैसे वो बताते रहते उदाहरण देते रहते हैं यू नो ऐसे नहीं तो ऐसे ऐसे नहीं तो ऐसे तो इस सब उदाहरण जितने भी योग वशिष्ठ में बताए गए हैं वो सिर्फ एक ही में बताए गए हैं कि हम अपने जो इंडिविजुअल कॉन्शियसनेस है जो ईगो है जो छोटा मन है जो हमको इतना यू नो तरसाता रहता है उसको हम जब हम भ्रमण में लीन हो जाता है तो वो भ्रम स्वरूप ही है एक्चुअली एवरीथिंग इज भ्रमण आज आप जहां बैठे हैं वो भी भ्रमण है और मर्ज होने के बाद भी वो सब एक ही है तो उस वो वननेस में जब हम आ जाते हैं ना तो बाकी के सब डिविजन जो है हमारे निकल जाते हैं नो जो अनेक जो दिखता है जो हम बोलते हैं हम मटके हुए हैं भाजता है कि ऐसे है वैसे वो सब 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 एक ब्रह्मण में ही लीन हो जाता है सो दैट वाज वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वो फिश कितनी लाचार हो जाती है इतनी बड़ी फिश भी लाचार हो जाती है बट वो हुक हो जाती है ऐसे तो इसी तरह से हम भी अपने को संभाल के चले हुक ना हो अपने डिजायर्स में अपने यू you नो know, जो भी हमको दिखता है उसमें हम अपने सेल्फ अवेयरनेस में रह के और हम अपने को आगे बढ़ जाए उसमें से दैट्स व्हाट या या ओके थैंक यू या दैट वाज अनदर ब्यूटीफुल टेक अवे बाय संगीता जी तो इस तरह से हम लोग व्यक्त कर सकते कई बार ना हम लोग यहाँ पे कैमेरा पे फेस नहीं करते तो इट्स अ गुड आइडिया टू टाइप इन द चैट आल्सो अनदर ब्यूटीफुल सजेशन दैट हज कम फ्रॉम जयश्री जी कई बार ऐसा हो जाता है कि वक्त के कारण हम लोग सारे अपने सारे टेक अवे को व्यक्त नहीं कर पाते है ना समय उतना नहीं होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट्स ऑलरेडी क्वार्टर टू टेन हियर है ना तो लंबा सब गया ज्यादा हो गया ना तो ऐसा अगर वक्त आता है तो इट्स अ वेरी गुड सजेशन दैट हज कम फ्रॉम जयश्री जी तो आप क्या कीजिए ना जैसे ये सत्रह दिन खत्म हो जाता है हम लोग जल्दी इसको बंद कर देते हैं आप अपने आप को पूरी तरह से व्यक्त नहीं कर पाए तो यू कैन गो हेड एंड ऑडियो फॉर्मेट में ना कि ये मुझे आज मुझे ये क्लिक हुआ ये भी हुआ हाँ दिस वॉज नॉट आई कुड नॉट एक्सप्रेस माई सेल्फ तो एक पुटी थी ना ग्रुप ऑडियो मैसेज फॉर्मेट ऑन द ग्रुप तो लोग भी उसको सुनेंगे है ना तो इट्स अ वेरी गुड आइडिया टू लेट्स यूज एनी थिंग यूज चार्ट यू स्पीक हियर यूज द ऑडियो मैसेज आज क्वेश्चन इवन ऑन द ग्रुप अभी सपोज कुछ क्वेश्चन नहीं stuck hua you you come you want to question something later you feel like put it on a group and it's not necessary that only someshwar only sangeeta ji will answer it it's not that anybody can answer it abhi koi prashn kisi ne pucha ramo ji ko uttar dene ka man kar raha hai pallavi ji ko man kar raha hai to aap share kar sakte hai group pe bhi ye ho sakta hai ki kisi ne kuch prashn pucha aapko apna opinion rakhne ka pura adhikar wahan pe ehi baat ho jati hai ki discussion karte hain to apne ko samay ki pabandi hoti hai तो रुकना पड़ता है तो आज भी अपने सत्र को हम लोग पे रोक लेंगे बट दैट डजेंट एन अवर चिंतन मतन जो हम लोग ब्रेन स्ट्रॉम कर रहे हैं दैट स्टिल कंटिन्यूज थ्रू आउट द डे और थ्रू आउट द थिंग इफ यू आर एयर ऑन द अदर थिंग स्टे फॉर संगीता जी संगीता जी इज इन यूएस फॉर अस इट इज नाइट टुमारो यू कैन थिंक अबाउट इट कॉन्टेम्पलेट ऑन इट पुट इट ऑन अ ग्रुप बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द ग्रुप इफ यू आर नॉट जस्ट थिंग एनी वन ऑफ अस वी विल एड यू टू एनी ऑफ द योग ग्रुप ऑफ यूअर चॉइस मराठी हिंदी इंग्लिश 
कुछ भी बात भाषा में आप बात कर सकते हैं उसका कोई बंधन नहीं है हाँ इसी नोट के साथ आज के सत्र को हम लोग यहाँ पे रोक लेते हैं विल टेक अ पॉज इयर सो दैट वी कैन मीट टुमारो जय गुरुदेव